What would happen if he does another debate? Should he do another debate on another one of these big networks? Maybe he actually needs to think about a different kind of network or a different format. I don't know, as I like these network debates because we know that the bias is so rampant. It's something that came up on Fox today. He went on Fox and Friends this morning, and this is actually pretty funny because <laughs> I can tell you they didn't appreciate this very much. He dissed a couple of well-known Fox moderators right there on Fox's air. So Fox and Friends, they were like, hey, you know, would you consider a debate with, with some of our moderators here? Wait till you hear what he had to say. I'm going to cue this tape. Yeah, Mr. President, we, we kind of expected it because uh, when you look at Media Research Center, they said 100 percent of the stories covered um, on ABC about Kamala, 100 percent of the time was positive. Ninety three percent of the time when they covered you, it was negative. Um, so it was infuriating to watch them fact check you and not her when she brought up IVF, when she brought up Project 2025 several right. times and when she brought up Charlottesville. Here are some of the lies that she said about you. Listen. A detailed and dangerous plan called Project 2025 that the former president intends on implementing. Couples who pray and, 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 and dream of having a family are being denied IVF treatments. If Donald Trump were to be reelected, he will sign a national abortion ban. And what did the president then at the time say? There were fine people on each side. On that day, 140 law enforcement officers were injured. And some died. Donald Trump, the candidate, has said in this election there will be a bloodbath if this and the outcome of this election is not to his liking. And the bloodbath, you were talking about the economy. It's a term that's used um, a lot when people are talking about a bad economy. What's that's your reaction right. to that's why didn't right. the moderators well, correct her? Because they're dishonest and because I think ABC took a big hit last night. I mean, to be honest, uh, they're a news organization. They have to be licensed to do it. They ought to take away their license for the way they did that. Uh, bloodbath was referring to the economy. Everybody loved the term because as soon as they heard the word, it's, it's sort of a vicious word. But referring to the economy, uh, they have created an economy. Bloodbath was the word that I used. And it was fine in that context. And they were trying to make it sound like there was a riot or something. And it was a bloodbath. IVF. I was a leader on IEF, the IVF. The IVF, which is fertilization, I was a total leader on that. When I first heard about it, like right from the beginning, I was one of the oh. Yeah, Mr. President, we, we kind of expected it because uh, when you I believe each time I was right, didn't correct her at all. And she was saying these things. She, she was using. And each time Mr. I was President. right, I believe each time I was right, didn't correct her at all. And she was saying these things. She, she was using like Charlottesville. She was using Charlottesville and everybody. Mm -hmm. You take a look at Laura Ingram. She did it incredibly. She had it totally debunked. She said that. In fact, it makes it angry. She makes she gets angry when people hear about Charlottesville, when they use that. Because what they did is they stopped and they didn't put the following sentence in. And when they put the last sentence in, when it was all put together, what I said was absolutely perfect. And ABC knew that. Everybody knew that, frankly. I think they lost a lot of credibility. But regardless, look, the polls are saying that I, was, I won that by 80, 20, 90. We have won here 92 to 7. And I sort of believe that's right. I thought, look, I've been told I'm a good debater. I... I I think it was one of my better debates, maybe my best debate, I think. I don't know. Well, I, that's why I'm disappointed in this guy, Harold Ford. I don't know if he's still there, but I don't know what he was watching because he was just as dishonest as ABC, no. in my opinion. OK, Harold Ford is a Democrat. <clears throat> So he's going to spout that, right? And maybe he was on with Fox earlier and he's taken, taken note of that. But this, this is what she, Kamala Harris tried to do, right? She tried to get under his skin, perhaps like Harold Ford just did. The other thing, so he, he's calling out the moderators and, and they were indeed horrible. But the other thing that was amazing about what we saw, ladies and gentlemen, Donald Trump completely disses Fox to its face, right? He's on Fox's air and he actually, he goes right after Fox hosts themselves when he's asked the question, hey, you know, or this de debate may not have been 
you know, what you wanted, but would you come on with us and hear his response when a couple of names are floated his way? He does not like these hosts. Listen. Mr. President, uh, I know uh, when we started the interview, you said that uh, you felt that you won the debate last night, uh, your best ever. Um, I think before the debate happened last night, the Kamala Harris people said that they would actually like to do another debate in October. And I know that uh, last night Fox News uh, offered, sent letters to your campaign and her campaign offering three dates of uh, debates moderated by Martha and Brett. Uh, one is October 9th in Arizona. Well, I wouldn't want one... to have Martha and Brett. I'd, I'd love to have somebody else other than Martha and Brett. I'd love to have, uh, frankly, Sean or Jesse or Laura, uh, you know, somebody else. Let's give, let's give other people a shot. But I didn't think Martha and Brett were uh, well, good last night. Well, I thought here... Jesse, was, Jesse was fantastic last night, what he said. Jesse really got it. Jesse said that Trump won that debate. That was we won that debate by a lot. No, I wouldn't want Martha involved. Okay, I would, Mr. President, but I would take some others. So, yeah. oh, ouch, ouch, ouch. Okay, so he doesn't want Martha involved. He doesn't want Brad. He, you know, he's not fans. Whatever. Look, I think the reality is you just need smarter people. You do. I mean, and I've worked with them. Okay, like you need smarter people that understand policy, that understand the economy, that understand the jobs market, that understand the dollar and its inflationary um, challenges right now. You need people that get this. You need smart people. I mean, we just don't have enough smart people in politics or, frankly, in the news media. That is the reality, ladies and gentlemen, whether you like it or not. So I would suggest whoever moderates this debate next time around be maybe somebody outside the network system, right? Why not, why not get yours truly, a former business reporter who's actually got a background on, like, I mean, imagine that. Why not get somebody in the private equity space in the banking space, in the science space, in the legal space. Why not get a bunch of people that actually have expertise and why not have it go for three hours so we can actually try and have real policy debates? Remember Elon when he had Trump on and it was a really good, long, meaty conversation and we got a little more out of it? Or think about the Economic Club of New York when we heard about his idea for a sovereign wealth fund. Fascinating, right? I mean, nobody else has been talking about that in order to address some of the challenges we have for infrastructure when we really had some substantive talk on tariffs. Let's do that.